Hi Taurus, welcome to your October monthly messages from Spirit Reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Taurus. This will not resonate with every Taurus that watches this message. And because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading's not for you at all, Taurus, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Taurus. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Taurus and cross watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the rules are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those rules if that resonates with your specific situation the best. So, my intentions for this reading, Taurus, is to channel and provide messages from Spirit for you for the month of October, to ask what will be happening in October, um, what you need to be aware of in October. But for a lot of you, too, this may just be a message of what you need to hear right now. So, if anything you've been going through in the beginning of the month, why has it happened and what do you need to know about it? And this can impact any aspect of your life. Love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution. But whatever spirit would like to talk about shall be said. And if you have any beings of the light that you would like to welcome into this space, specific angels, ancestors, spirit guides, maybe even pass down loved ones, you're welcome to ask them to join us here now. So let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl to clear and set the energy. So if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume is kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit only for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's tune in. All right, so let's see what's happening for my Taurians in the month of October. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anyone dealing with the Taurus, what will be happening or what do you need to hear right now in this moment? Let's see the major theme of October for you guys. What will Taurus be experiencing? The main energy surrounding Taurus in October spirit. Let's talk about it. Moving on. Nice with the Six of Swords, Aquarius energy. So if you could have Aquarius in your chart, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Does not have to be the case in order for this reading to resonate. Taurus, this is a beautiful card, especially in this card deck um, called the Psychic Tarot. And you just see this person who's decided to move towards the light, to choose light, and to leave whatever darkness behind them. So yeah, I do feel there is a lingering of disappointment, of sadness that we all go through. You know, we all have those experiences that make us feel down. But there's a decision you're making, Taurus, mentally to start to move on from something. And even if that takes baby steps, it all adds up. And I do feel there's some sort of rejection or you feel neglected, you feel abandoned, you feel or you used to feel maybe not good enough for someone, for a job, for a situation. And anything that makes you feel that way, that you'd have to prove yourself, that you'd have to guess your worth, guess the love and light that you put into a situation, despite that, it would still turn you down. It, it isn't right for you. And I think some of you, even though it was hard to see at first, hard to understand at first, you're finally deciding, yeah, you know what, it, it is time. Maybe some of you have held on to a certain person for too long, a certain belief for too long. Belief is a big time thing with the sword's energy. The way you were thinking, the way you thought about yourself, the way the words you were telling yourself. I feel we're negative, we're pessimistic. And maybe this was a learned behavior from your parents, from your family. Um, but it, you're outgrowing it, Taurus. You're not tolerating it anymore. And with everything that you've observed, everything that you've analyzed and come to understand, moving on is the right choice. And some of you are in the process of making that choice. And this is spirit telling you, 
yeah, Taurus, you'll be moving on. It will be safe to move on. I, I think this person's holding like a golden locket and maybe gold jewelry is something that you wear or you have a golden locket that means a lot to you. Maybe it's a compass this guy is holding. It's not very clear. But you will be directed, not only by spirit, but everything that you've learned from this experience, everything that you've gained from this experience. You've grown wiser from it, Taurus. And as this picture depicts, you're heading towards the light. You're heading towards a new beginning or a new way of thinking, a new way of believing that is going to pay off. So let's, let's pull some more cards here. Maybe some of you guys are thinking about moving straight up to a new city, a new country, a new state. But I think it's deeper than that for most of you. It's deeper than that. Tell me more about October for Taurus. Ooh, the dragon's duel. Inner conflict, morality, conscious, conscious choice with number 23. So dragon energy is powerful. Dragon energy is prominent. And I feel, Taurus, you being a thick sign, it's like once you make this decision, you know there's no going back. So maybe some of you have been taking your time, have weighed all the options out. And I feel whether, you know, you guys are in this process, in this moment, this is what I always do when I'm faced with these decisions to make, which feel pretty, like for a lot of you with this dragon duel and with the six of swords, it feels like this is one of the bigger decisions you made this year. And um, what I do is that I weigh everything out on the two scales, right? Maybe you have Libra in your chart, but it's like the good. And what I mean by that is, has this situation, has this way of thinking made me feel happy, made me feel proud, made me feel successful and passionate and abundant? Or has this situation made me feel ashamed, lonely, guilty, um, negative about myself? So, you know, by weighing it out on those two scales, which is carrying more weight? And if there is a situation in your life that has been more negative, that's where you know that it, it is time to move on. It's time to move forward. And there are two dragons depicted in this picture. So maybe this does have to do with a relationship with someone else. But even this dragon duel could be within yourself, Taurus. It's different for each and every one of you. You're going to have to use your intuition to decipher. But I do feel by ultimately kind of sitting with yourself, being honest with yourself, being compassionate with yourself, that you'll start to see that there's more for you, that there's more you can gain out of choosing love than continuing back to having this inner voice in some of you that just tells you or shames you or makes you fearful that what's ahead is just nothing. What's ahead is more disappointment. So I, I do feel for a lot of you who may be starting to get the green light to move on, do it. Some of you may get the message or a phone call of a situation that will help you move on whether that's someone who's speaking their mind, that's speaking from a place of truth, that just doesn't measure up to what you want anymore, what you need anymore, that will help you decide to move on. Maybe there's a new job opportunity that will help you move on. Um, you know, it almost feels like in the right moment, some information is going to be made aware to you, Taurus, that will help you make that final decision. But the thing that's dueling within you is your feelings about it. That's how I see it right now. With the dragon energy, um, you know, you may have a dragon tattoo. You may be born near in the dragon of Chinese astrology, and that's just confirmations for you guys. But you, if there's feelings of fear that's preventing you from this, this is what you're overcoming. So you can finally move on. This is big, Taurus. I, I feel this decision, this change, this transition is big. And with going into the unknown, we are faced with, feelings of fear of am I making the wrong choice am I making the wrong decision but with this card you're not so let me just tell you that for a lot of you that have been worrying about it 
pull some more cards. For some of you, I feel like you're kind of understanding that you just can't change someone's mind. I don't know if that's about the connection or the relationship you have with them. I don't know if that's even the idea they have about you. But I feel this battle you've been having with a certain someone to change their mind, to get them to see the light, to get them to see your way, is just not working. They're just not in that same vibration. They're not in that same perspective as you are. And I think that's what you're finally accepting, as hard as that is to accept. But the old will be replaced with the new, which I feel for a lot of you with this light will be so much better for you, even if it's hard to see right now. Tell me more about October for Taurus spirit. Hearth. Happiness is in our hearts and homes. Okay. So what I feel about this is that, yeah, for some of you guys, a living situation is just not working and you want that comfortable home to come back to you when you've had a hard day, when you've had a stressful day. Um, a lot of you, I feel this is family healing. Um, accepting that maybe some people in your family just don't get you, don't understand you. And it, it's a hard placement to have. I wonder if some of you um, may have like Scorpio in the fourth house or Gemini in the fourth house or Aquarius in the fourth house. I mean, I just feel a lot of tension around the home that for some of you guys, it, it is hard to see when people have such or what appears to be healthy, great families. You know, they can post about the love they have for their parents and their sisters and brothers and they have such a strong support system that I feel for some of you guys, you didn't have or don't feel like you have, whether that is emotional support, mental support. Um, for some of you guys with this Six of Swords energy, I do feel you're more progressive in your family, um, that you speak your mind a little bit more. And maybe in your family, you've dealt with people who, instead of speaking their truth, likes to sweep a lot of things other, under the rug. So Taurus, okay. For those of you that are deciding to move, it's a great choice, putting that out there. And if you're just needing to save up for it, save up for it, because I think your environment is affecting you a lot at this time right now, whether it's with family, with roommates, with just not being happy with the neighborhood you're living in, whatever it is, okay? Others of you, um, you know, it's interesting that I see this guy moving towards the light and here's that fireplace. I do feel that with the tension that may have been going on in your life or may sometimes still spark up throughout October, the, you know, the fear of moving forward, the fear of making the wrong decision. Again, I, I just do feel that that's the ego trying to fight this knowing that moving on is all right. Moving on is what's helping you because it wants to stay safe. And staying in a place that you know the prediction of, even if it is an unhappy one, at least you don't have to give your hopes up by deciding to move on to something that could be another disappointment. But I do feel, Taurus, that there's something that you're deciding that is more about how you're going to start to feel about yourself, how you have to feel about your environment, how you have to feel safe and secure within yourself. And that's the choice that you need to make is what will make you feel safe, what will make you feel happy. And kindling that fire for that. If you're in an unhappy job, it's time to change. If you're in an unhappy relationship, it's time to change. And this decision to start to venture out into a new opportunity, despite the back and forth you may experience will lead you to this place of happiness, of warmth. So if some of you have been dealing with a breakup or a loss of a friend, um, you know, family members are just still picking at you for the choices you're making that you know is right for you. Um, you know, start to create that inner home within yourself, that foundation within yourself. And when you're ready, start to make it 
in the outside world. I do feel if there's opportunities for you guys to hang out more with the people that care about you, make that time to happen at the end of the month. Um, and I feel for a lot of you, you need to know that you have a soul tribe. Even if your family wasn't the family that has been there for you, I, I do feel by venturing outside of that repeated environment, that repeated mindset of, you know, I, what I surround myself with is only what I'm worth and start to venture out into a new environment, you're going to feel a lot safer. So I do feel by the end of the month, you know, for those of you that st already made that choice or are going to make that choice very, very soon, by the end of the month, you're going to be so much happier for it. All right, let's go ahead and pull some tarot. The moon. Mm -hmm. We were talking about those fears. Pisces energy, cancer energy for me as a reader. Yeah, you know, with the moon here, um, and this is for a very few amount of you, but some, whoever this is for, you need to hear it. You almost feel like by making this decision based off of what others are going to think of you, you know, you'll be some sort of bad person or changed person or the one that sticks out like a sore thumb, the black sheep. And you know what? I, as being one who labels myself as the black sheep of my family, I started to take empowerment from that. You know, yeah, at first it sucked that no one I felt in my family understood me. And I, I'm not trying to play the victim. I understand when I also had my part to play in some of the relationships in my family. But it was like no matter how I tried to express my truth, there was always a wrong way I was doing it in the eyes of certain family members of mine. And there was no way once I had that, vi that label, once I had that perspective projected onto me, there was no shifting out of that, which made me live in fear. Live in fear of proving them right, that I was you know, this obscure, weird person that was just not going to succeed. But despite what fears were projected onto me that I may have decided to carry with me for some time, there is a point where I just decided to listen to my higher self, listen to the messages coming from my heart and my soul more than the anger and the fear and the resentment. And by choosing to finally do this as my full-time career, despite what my family members thought, it has been the best choice I've ever made. And listening to your intuitive feeling, listening to that gut feeling, even when you're in the dark, to still remind yourself of the light that's within you, the light that's around you through your spiritual team with this moon card here. You, you will be guided out of this, Taurus. You'll be guided out of the darkness. And, you know, some people ask me, well, Mermaid, how do I know what messages are coming from my intuition and what are coming from my ego? I'll tell you this. The, in the messages coming from your intuition even if they're not the things you want to hear, are still delivered in a way that are calming, soothing, graceful. They don't ignite anxiety. They don't ignite stress. They don't ignite fear. That's the, that's the ego talking to you. So that's how I hope it will help you decipher which is which if you guys are experiencing that. But a lot of you, you know, this choice has been needed to be made for some time now. Subconsciously, even if it was buried, you know this choice was the right thing to do or is the right thing to do moving forward. Let's keep going. Five of bats. Yep, there's that dragon's duel, right? Right under this. Aquarius energy again. I swear, if you have Aquarius in your chart, you're dealing with an Aquarius, check out the Aquarius reading to see if there's messages for you there. But yeah, Taurus, I feel that, again, there will be people who are not happy about your decision, okay, for some of you straight up. And they may make their opinions known. They may send you that call, send you that text message like I was telling you. Um, you know, being condescending, being opinionated. But you know what I have to say about dealing with those people 
is that um, let them let them stew in their opinions. The only time their opinion matters is when you put value on it. You can just drop it and walk away and not have to engage in that conflict that someone just feels powerful igniting. And I don't feel it's just you, by the way. Um, but others of you, if this is internal, again, I, the ego is the one thing that I feel is stopping you. And we all have ego. You know, no matter where we are on our spiritual journey, we were born on this face of this earth human. And as being human, we have ingrained evolutionary DNA programming of a need to survive. It's just the truth. Yes, we may have to fight that at times, but yes, also that need to survive may help us at other times. But for you, Taurus, it's time to silence that voice that still haunts you, that you tell yourself or that has been picked up on by other people. Because again, the choice you're making is the right one. Remind yourself that because it gives you happiness. Any sort of thing that is still the side factor, the side note, the footnote that's saying you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, but you know it's not. Again, that just, that inner fight, it needs to end. Eight of pumpkins under hearth. Virgo energy. So, yeah, Taurus, for some of you guys, this is about a job. And maybe this five of bats is a toxic coworker, a toxic manager um, that, you know, didn't give you the appreciation you deserved, but knew you were a good worker. But because they wanted to pay you less so they could have more for their, I don't know, their building improvements or whatever like that, it's too late now. You know, I feel if this is a workplace and honestly, Taurus, you're overworking yourself for what? I don't think you're gaining anything out of it. So with the eight of pentacles at the end of the month, you know, there may be a new job that you're starting to work towards. Maybe you put in your two weeks and this is why all this conflict's coming in for some of you guys are thinking about it very soon. Um, but a new job will give you more happiness with this combination here. Others of you with the Eight of Pentacles, again, it's working on the foundation of the happiness that you can make for yourself. The stability that you can have for yourself. Maybe some of you are working on remodeling your home, improving your home. Um, you know, buying more furniture that you want to just make the living environment a little bit more peaceful, a little bit more beautiful. But for most of you, yeah, this is the new foundation you're creating with yourself to be dedicated and focused to the happiness you want to invite into your life that you deserve to have in your life and stay dedicated to that. Stay dedicated to the things that make you feel passionate, that can honor your skill, that will show off your skills, that will make you feel like the work is worth it. Bottom of the deck, the devil. I'm not surprised to see this. Capricorn energy. So yeah, there's something holding you back that could come from fear, that could come from karmic bonds with family members, with friends, romantic partners. I hope not. But for some of you, that may be the case. The history of what you've been through in the past may be holding you back from when you did take an opportunity to put yourself out there and it didn't work out. You know, the only thing that we can learn from these closed doors is that there's something else that wasn't meant to be. But for some reason, when we have are faced with closed doors, you know, we, we put so much disappointment on us. And that just keeps us stuck. That keeps us bound in old thought patterns and old behaviors that aren't serving us. They're just causing us to become more unhappy. And I feel like you guys have identified the devil in your life. This is, in, this is on the bottom of the deck. You've already identified the toxic behavior, the toxic pattern, the toxic relationships, the toxic environment. So now it's time to act. Because the devil wants to keep you staying. The, ke the devil wants to keep you stuck. Only you can break your bonds, Taurus. 
You have that power. You need to know that. If this is a relationship, as I mean a romantic one, um, yeah, there's just someone who just wants to keep you guys in this karmic toxic cycle for their own satisfaction, for their own ego boost. Maybe the sex is really great. There's a strong sexual connection, but that's about it. And that's all they kind of see this as. I hate to say it that way, but you'll know if it's for you because you figured this out. And maybe even for others of you, it's through someone you have a child with or multiple children with. But, you know, to be a good example of love and healthy relationships to your children, you do need to show when you have to walk away. To not stay in relationships that are toxic and you know are not good for you. And as hard as divorce may be or separation may be, um, speaking as a child of divorce myself, I promise I, I saw eventually how much better it was that my parents separated. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and get one more card. Anything else that Taurus needs to know about October? Make each day count. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. I love that. And so with this card here, Taurus, like I said, with moving on in the beginning of the reading, it may take baby steps. It may take each and every day for you to just Keep on reminding yourself, keep motivating yourself to keep just moving forward. Small or big ways, it, it still is leading you on that path. So Taurus, make every day count. Make every day worthwhile. Have something that you will tell yourself by the end of the day that you're proud of doing. Whether it's drinking a glass of water to keep you more hydrated right in the morning or even choosing when you start to get in that mental conflict, choosing love. That's a big accomplishment as well. And even if you do have something to be excited about at the end of the month with the Eight of Pentacles that you're excited to work on, give yourself that high five. But whatever it is, Taurus, you have every day. And every day is a gift. Every day is a blessing. So despite some of the conflicts that may happen, remember that there's a way you can go around it. There's a way you can fix it. There's a way you can move on from it. Bottom of the deck, know your truth powerful yeah know your truth Taurus know your truth so strongly that certain situations won't shake it, it up won't make you second guess yourself won't make you doubt yourself truly when you know your truth so so thoroughly then side balls curve balls will not shake you and I think that's the stability you're growing, Taurus. That's amazing. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this reading. I really hope it's resonated with you. I hope it's provided you with confirmation, clarity, healing, insight, and guidance for what may be happening for you guys or what you're experiencing in the month of October. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Taurus, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Taurus.